so to all the audience on our youtube channel to all those people from 22 countries those who are watching our channel to all the people those who are following us on instagram facebook and various other social media platform today's day is one of the most special day and we have a very special person with us today from the, the city which is known as the most famous for real estate it is none other than dubai and today we have a special person mr hasan zahid pudi with us he is the managing director and ceo of zenith group of companies dubai zen smart contracting llc established in 2010 a private owned company based in dubai united arab emirates the company is dealing with construction activities and other related works the company has completed numerous projects around dubai the company has been involved in the most iconic and prestigious projects like zenith tower a1 zenith tower a2 outsource projects like hira tower and they have already participated in dubai 2020 property expo dubai expo which is the world's biggest expo so we welcome you hasan sir thank you so much for giving your precious time and coming for this real estate game changer series interview this is the unique thing what we were doing in the entire asia and the world we were interviewing the top 50 ceos across asia across the world and we were a fortunate and honored to have you we welcome you in this series thank you so much dr maria thank you so much for having me for today interview thank you sir the first question for this real estate game changer show and the series is our audience want to know how the managing director how the ceo thinks and how they work so how you started your journey from your school life to college life to entering into real estate we want to know everything in detail yeah actually i just got my graduate of the industrial management analysis in iran then after I my father sent me to China for graduating of the Chinese language, so I have okay. been there for almost one and a half years, and then I come back to Dubai and start to study the project construction management for master in okay. Hyderabad. So those days, uh, my father has some properties, and then he wants me to. Uh, to manage his properties for sales and buy, so I just uh, accept his offer and then start from our own investment for real estate business, very with a small amount of the transaction. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. yeah. superb, superb. Thank you so much for sharing the valuable information with us. My next question to you is very uh, is uh, something which is related with your group of companies that. what we know about zenith group of company is the secondary research on google or on your website but from the founder from the managing director we want to know that how the zenith group of companies is working in dubai what are the projects you are working on what are your exec plans and total number of employees and how you are dealing in dubai please tell us sure i started after the real estate business on year 2007 then we uh, goes to the development real estate development by purchasing of the plots for making tower then I start signing with uh, different designer consultancy and uh, contractor subcontractor etc the one of the advantage that time i made it, i made is i didn't sign as a turnkey like full agreement to the one main contractor so okay. i subdivided to different subcontractor so due to crisis happening on 2008 uh, middle of 2008 so many of the developer real estate bankrupted and run away actually in dubai many many projects is it was suspended for even some of those are still uh, not completed at even after several years but uh, due to because that time i start selling five different towers and uh, Uh, to individual uh, customers and uh, you know that we are just developer and real estate so we depend of many others um, stakeholder like contractor designer etc okay. uh, we are catching we are getting funds to pay to them but they are not doing any action because they have their own internal problem maybe with others contract companies with others and they have a lot of expenses in this crisis time they cannot manage and proceed or um, construction progress so we find out that this is not going to work so we made more than i 40 different strategy 
to get rid of these matters. Uh, and at that time, one of the strategy to set up our own companies for contracting companies and subcontracting companies. Okay. So today I can say, except the elevator, all the activities is in-house. Means the companies and the employees and equipment all come under the umbrella of Zenith. So we have done several towers in Dubai and uh, we have done several project A to Z in Expo, uh, which is really prestigious for the Zenith. Right, right, right. Thank you so much for sharing such a valuable information with us. Uh, Hassan sir, we want to know this that behind every successful person or person who's taking a risk, running companies, uh, making growth in the company, there is some person who is acting as an inspiration or a mentor. So who is your inspiration? Who is your mentor? Who has given you that zeal, that power and that enthusiasm to continue your journey? So we want yeah. to know about him. Actually, my father is my uh, influencer at the beginning and pushed me to start such a business. Definitely. Uh, most of the things is done by my, my myself, but he is. I really appreciate from him that he pushed me for this kind of things, you know. But the, the, the side of the persons, the one of the issues which make me strong on it is the uh, difficulty which I am facing. For when I face with some difficulty, I do enhancing and doing much more. Uh, afford to get rid of these things so it makes me more stronger than that okay super super thank you so much for this uh the next thing what i want to answer about what i want to know from you is what is the leadership strategy which you are implementing in zenith group of companies how you are handling such a huge group and a huge mm -hmm. business what is the core leadership strategy in principle okay. well one of the beliefs which i have is if i pass the works to out of my teams and group, it, I will get definitely trouble, especially for this kind of business. Contractors and and uh, designs always there is a lot of issues because right. of I mean, because it's not just trade. It's, it's, it's a period of two years and you have faced with many things. Maybe inflation happened, maybe crisis happened, maybe sometime something happened to different parties, stakeholders. So all these things is uh, increase the risk of delivery of the projects on time, quality, and finance. So what the strategy we did? Uh, I tried for the construction only subjects uh, do everything in house, but okay. it's not the only things which we did. Uh, so because also you now we have our own investment to add in value to our investment and get more rent of investment. So the others um, related business to the property, I set up like the making the fully furnished by our own fur furnishing warehouse and then rented as a short term by our own vacation home companies to um, at least 50% more rental income receiving. Instead of okay. just uh, running as a long term or giving to some other agents or brokers and depend on them, we do everything by our own. Besides of that, on our association and uh, as I say, the other companies is running to uh, succeed for these careers actually. Super, super, super. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing such a valuable information. Uh, my next question to you is, how many total number of people were working with any group of company in, in Dubai? Yeah, al almost 300 employees and staff and laborers. And um, yeah, it's working mostly as international people, but the majority is Indian and then the other nationality like Pakistan, Philippines, okay. and Sri Lanka, and um, Iranian and uh, from Arab. Also. Okay, super. Working. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. And we want to tell our audience that why we were interviewing people like him. They are the real heroes of this entire real estate industry in the world. 
and they are those people those who are working very hard on their projects they have not revealed their success stories or their strategies in real estate before this on any social media platform so many interviews we had with the top ceos across asia and the world and the only thing they were doing is they were focusing on their real estate business they were focusing on the growth of their company but this is first okay. and this is happening that something which is coming out of their heart that what they have really done to fight with the situation to tackle with the difficult situation and how they have developed now my next question is related with you sir as yes, a please. owner as a founder or a director we need a very high level of energy to manage our entire team we need a schedule we need disciplined life then and only then we can take all these to a next level how you take care of yourself what kind of success rituals you follow in your <laughs> life that gives you this kind of success our audience wants to know this uh actually definitely such a this having such a this position with a lot of workload i nobody can wave it actually but then what we do i assign most of my activities uh, to the the person which i rely on in and i know that he can able to manage it super of course i have to have my own lives i'm doing my sport my families i have to have spent more some my time with the families but definitely i am much more busy than some regular person right but definitely uh, i try to manage it and have my own time for a spending with family and my own yes my own my own way yeah. super super so i want to tell all all our audience that he had given a superb answer and I, i'll just uh, bring it in a very simple way for you all that he hires people of that caliber those who can handle good work so he delegate the work in a very smarter way so with the help of art of delegation he takes time for his family for his social life also so he's managing everything by keeping right people in the team by delegating the things in the right way plus he gives an equal importance to his health also so thank you so um, much for sharing this uh, along with that one also uh, definitely if using with the sophisticated software and some automation things definitely we can have uh, more time to spend for ourselves yes 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 by using the automatic software and artificial intelligence we can take more time for ourselves and one thing which is related with your uh, daily routine mm-hmm. what kind of morning routine you follow or something which is which can give you more uh, energy and health is very important as we all have seen in this corona period that keeping or giving first priority to your health is the primary responsibility Okay. So, what do you do for your personal health, and what kind of schedule and ritual you follow? Well, uh, for the matter of the health in the time of Corona, as you see, I sit in next to my uh, team workers, and I at the time of the Corona, I try my best to have a strategy to isolate them to not going like by public transportation. and stay in our own buildings so no need to so they are working here the the staff and uh, going home in the same building almost Super. so it's one of the things which we do so it's like kind of isolated we don't let people come to this office but we have other offices which is the, for the people who wants to come goes for giving the check etc so we keep that that office separate with to this office and i'm just with them uh, without so much people coming and going superb superb strategy you told us thank you so much for sharing this now the next question is related with your team as you have said a wonderful thing related with your team members Definitely. we want to know that how you inspire and how you motivate your team member so do, so that you achieve such big projects at a definite or a committed time period so what kind of strategy you implement with your team well uh, the teams is really doing grateful for me they are doing great for me actually uh, the thing is uh, if they see the honesty of the company if they see that the company is um, not doing zigzag and uh, doing in the nice way and straight forwards they do their job as well it means that they knows there is nobody cheat each others and because of all of the construction all the teams working for the projects and no outside come to these things 
So they even help each others to get rid of any problems happening. So the inspiration of the teams goes much more because they know that from A to Z, they are the full responsible for it. Super. Super. Thank you so much for sharing this. And we are very glad and we are very fortunate that uh, we are getting something that how people were running companies in, in a country like Dubai. So the next question is related with uh, there were giants in Dubai in real estate like Damak and MR Group. So when the environment is competitive like this, what kind of strategy you implement to, to grow your company or to expand your business? Well, yeah, definitely there is many big competitors, but in the end, uh, they can just take their shares, not more than right. that. So there is a space for many people to work and uh, to grow. It's Super. Not, so just if you focus to your business and have such a, a consideration of how to have the strategy to implement, you will get success to go ahead. No, no issues that you have the competitors or not. Just you do. You know that you do your job properly. You will get that benefit. As long as the size you are is okay, means maybe entrepreneur. I mean the investment coming in middle range or large investments or a small investment. Depend what exactly you are doing. Super, super. Thank you so much for sharing those things. Now the next question is related with. Uh, your personal inspiration, it is said that every uh, leader is a reader. So you are leading such a huge organization. Mm -hmm. So do you want to share some books with our audience, which you like to read whenever you get time? Those who have given you inspiration or learnings, which has really turned out to be a life changing mm -hmm. books for you. Can you share a few books with us? Uh, well, mostly it's about construction project management and about the okay. management of the systems. But yes, okay. and also some of those which is related to the how to improve your career by using the automations and softwares. It's general okay. actually. So most of my time is about research action rather than workloading for the repeated things. I'm I hate these things actually. I pass it to the teams. So right. since I once I come to the office till go, either I read the report or do the research to improve the companies and inspiring the teams to go to the next step. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, I want to know that our entire audience want to know this, that what are the three best things in Dubai and what are the reasons for Dubai's growth? The, the way we have seen that Dubai is growing and the big projects were coming to Dubai and every big project, uh, if they want to come to Dubai, it's okay. If they don't want to come to Dubai, then Dubai make their own islands. Then Dubai make their own Disneyland. So what are the three best things about Dubai's market that has helped you and the other people also to grow in that? Yeah, one of the things is lack, uh, I mean the mismanagement of the around of the countries, which okay. makes Dubai grow. I think yes. it is one of the main factor that most of the uh, those people have the money and funds they prefer to come to near to their countries or hometown but they have to have, they can have the luxury place to stay safe to stay etc but but definitely if your neighborhood also is good enough rich enough doesn't mean that uh, dubai gonna be sink of course dubai also grow more like the hong kong right. when the china or india or singapore malaysia all is of asia of asia grow of course, it's going to give advantage to Hong Kong to grow faster. But so we can see from both sides, one lack of the mismanagement and difficulty of the around of the countries. So this is just a city like Dubai. So with lots of funds transaction, so of course it will improve. But also is against of that of my article that uh, if also all around going to grow, then definitely it will affect Dubai much better in the better way. It means if the Iran's economy become better, if all Iraq or whatever countries next to Dubai uh, improve, definitely the business goes faster and there is more activity to to grow. Super, super. Thank you so much for sharing this. Uh, this 
next question is related with your personal story your personal life uh, being a ceo being being the managing director of this uh, entire group uh, an incident Sorry. that had happened with you when you were mm-hmm. working or when you were managing such big project mm-hmm. the incident which had taught you a lot you learned okay. a lot from that incident ah, can okay. you share such kind of incident with us yeah actually in during of my careers in almost from 2010 from 2007 till today i am facing with many issues actually one of them is crisis one of them is corona and some others issues but what right. whatever i face with that i try by different strategy tackle those problem and uh, not let the company stay in the same level and all the time moving so on the time of the crisis happenings and pain to the subcontractor main contractor and no improvements happens so you need to have the brave you have to make the brave decision to set up your right. companies establish all your companies calling the skilled persons to help you as a technical persons like civil mechanical electrical engineering right. to finish your your problems and complete your projects okay so this is one of the issues which we have faced okay thank you so much for sharing that and and i am very uh, my deep gratitude to you and your entire team for for this interview but now we'll be coming to the core part of real estate now tell me one thing that how marketing is very important for your company and how in dubai you are marketing your project how are you getting leads and how you are utilizing those leads what is the role of marketing in dubai in your company yeah in my in all companies actually so generally these days we try to instead of sells any property to do the leasing by using as i said the short term business because you no know, this is depend on the market you no know? sometimes right. market is good like the expo is happening in dubai so it's the best best time for leasing and doing the short term business you will get more income rather than the long long term income so our t- strategy from one and a half years ago is this one to do the short terms by doing fully sure. furnished by our own teams so for the maintenance etc it will be much makes sense to do short terms rather than for example if i don't have the workshop and furniture production so whatever so far i bought after 6 months or 1 years i have to throw it away but my team just repaired and again put it in the same places so these days i just do the marketing through to short terms releasing through to different portals some is like airbnb booking.com and some from the local uh and portals which they is is available in dubai super so thank more, you more thank than you. 20 different channels either the networking or by tourism connection etc we do our best to rent it as much as possible in the good manner actually thank you thank you so much for sharing that uh, my question to you is what is the role of management top management people like you in running companies like this if you really want to run such huge companies what would be your advice to the upcoming entrepreneurs well first my advice is if you are not able to complete a job don't start it super that's the main things for second secondly if you don't have the potential or you don't know why you want to start this one not just matter of the okay markets need such a these things and let's to get to the to to, to this one. i don't advise to go first you need to know what is in your potential what you have in your hand so generally Uh, many of the people who participate for such a for example investing on in offices because the shortage of the offices office is expensive so everybody invests in offices once they bought it once it's handed over to them all the price of the offices collapse because of everybody think the same things you got my point so so in a sort of look at the market look at the potential of what you have and how you want to Um, reach to that uh, target and then see the the condition of the market because the condition of the market all the time is changing 
Yes. And you cannot uh, influence on it. But if you have your own potential, you can pass all those things in the proper way. Thank you so much, Hassan, sir. Thank you so much. This is thank one you, of man. the best answers what we have got. Uh, that you if so you much. really have the potential, then start. If you know you have the ability to finish, then start. If you know the reason why you want to do it, then start. So this is yes. one of the best thing and the best learning for the upcoming entrepreneurs in real estate. The next question to you is, what are the future vision and goals or the targets you have set for the next five years for Zenith group of companies? Mm. Uh, actually, my vision is not to repeat it, the same works. So my vision is to improve the teams in terms of the doing something not the other builder is doing or the developer Super. doing. So in terms of the art, I just have the opening the art uh, and handcraft beside of my construction team. I opened the design team and architectural team beside of my construction teams and uh, do the workshop beside all of those things is gonna help and support the construction team to provide a unique project. So my next step is to provide very, very luxury project with a very reasonable price. Superb, superb. And, and we uh, want to Thank tell you. our audience that having such kind of clear vision, the clarity about what you want to do, so the entire group and when the managing director is very clear in his thought process that what they actually want to do they want to give some uh, super projects to the people of dubai that too and premium projects in a very good rate so and then engaging your team in something which is new for them also it is only a leader can do so thank you so much for sharing this most welcome my most welcome inspector Thank you so much. Now we'll move forward to the next question. What are the opportunities you see in the global international real estate market and what are the challenges in future? Well, before I uh, uh, answer to this question, let me to tell you that we are doing a kind of homeworks uh, in Expo for um, okay. each, every pavilion or so country participate in Expo we are doing a kind of research and doing the clips and video about the countries about their everything how they okay. present themselves how they are looking for the property and their technology and generally in expo which is one of the biggest event in the world many of those looking for investors so right. one of the investments is about real estate Okay, some also is about the start of business, etc. And we, every country by our media teams goes and start extract those information and we are putting our Instagram and uh, YouTube, etc. To, uh, to record what these days going on. Right. So at the, I think the international is depend on the different country, how they are having the policy. There is many potential, many places, but maybe it is not the time to start because of uh, there is some issues going. Maybe the the regulation they have, maybe because of situation of the current their currency, inflation of the currency, and uh, welcoming to the foreigners. So depend of time to time is changing of their rules, then uh, you can decide which country is the best to go with that some countries like of course like westerns they are the rules always fixed and everybody knows it's very clear right. that's why many people goes there like canada like america to invest and uh, they know what's going on but some countries yes. like middle east always variation everything change coming up so not easy to uh, I'm not talking about UAE, but generally I'm talking. Uh, so you cannot rely on them. Some countries also like China, they are not let the people so much involved with them for the constructions and mostly their own teams uh, and countries. I mean, people, is, they are participate. So it depends on the, uh, each country's how they 
have the vision and they implement their strategy and regulation. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing this. Mm -hmm. My next question to you is if the if someone wants to start a real estate business in any of the country across the world, what are the two, three things he has to keep in his mind or what are the things that can help him to grow and expand his business? What are your uh, guidelines on the secret recipe for success in real estate business? As I earlier say, first about his potential. Is it good talent to talk, convince the people? If he has a good funds to start by his own investment to carry on and run his asset and property. If he has a good relation and connection with uh, some invest investors and other parties and have a great idea and for giving business plan. All these things, if it's clear for him and no blind, so okay. I think there is a good chance to grow. No matter, as I said, the countries or the uh, and external environment situation, how it is. So okay. one of the most important is uh, what you have in your potential. That's the thing. Super, super. So the most important thing, if you really want to become a successful real estate entrepreneur, is what you have inside you as a skill, as a talent, as a knowledge. And if you can utilize that in a proper way, mm. you can become a good real estate entrepreneur. You can become a big organization like Zenith Group of Companies, what they have done. Hassan sir, my last question is related with the role of training and coaching. It is very important to empower the people working with us. Mm -hmm. We as a company, and I'm Dr. Abol, a real estate coach, real estate trainer, and real estate entrepreneur. We are on a mission. In the next 10 years, we at least want to train one lakh real estate entrepreneur to run honest, ethical, transparent real estate business. So the entire world can feel the power of real estate. What is your opinion? What kind of role a training and coaching can play in the real estate business? We want your mm -hmm. words. Okay. Uh... It depends on the career which person uh, involved in the real estate. If it's about, uh, for example, accounting, of course, we, we get for them the kind of ERP and need lots of training to get through to that. Yes. All those ERP system helping the company instead of working with normal accounting or Excel or tra traditional things. So it will give the power to the company. So definitely need the teams of the accounting to get trained how to work with many interaction of the ERP transaction from purchasing order to budget of the budget monitoring of the construction projects so all related to to each one it is just one of the example i say for uh, the career of the accountants of course, for if different careers, different person in related to their own uh, activity which they do, there is uh, many things from the software, from the uh, analysis of the marketing, from the uh, how to presenting, all those things need to get trained. And of course, company not is not only training. The company also should give them the tools enough. So beside of once they train, they can use that tools yes. to to grow and to drive the company in the better situation. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing such a valuable information. Now, at last, I just want to say that from all the people of India, we are very thankful to you for giving your precious time. Thank you I'm so thankful, much. Thank you, man. And thankful to your entire team members, those who have thank supported you. us in, in managing this interview. Uh, thank I'm you, thankful doctor. to the wonderful person. Thank you None so other much. than Mr. Hassan Zahed Parisa for giving your Thank precious time. Thank you so time. much, Doctor.